a very good afternoon to you and welcome. Um, today we're going to be talking about sequencing, how to lay out your photos, I guess. Um, it's always fascinated me how you can go from a seemingly innocuous bit of plasticky, nothingy bit of film to, well, with a little bit of luck, I guess, to that. It's just an extraordinary thing to me. Um, you know, it's, it's a wondrous thing. It's a miraculous thing. Um, it's a little bit like, I don't know, somebody right, you know, sitting down with a pad and pencil and scribbling down some lyrics. And from that, going to a, a worldwide tour concert type scenario and people just loving that that sound um, I should also just by the way uh, just heavily recommend if you're ever looking for a bit of inspiration or whatever um, a documentary I don't know how long it's been out but I just stumbled across it the other day it's called punk colon attitude uh, I think somewhere in another life I, I was a punk um, a punk without the Mohican I suppose um, it just features you know something about the philosophy um, and some extraordinary music music that was so prevalent and so inspirational I guess still is um, it, well it absolutely is to this present day um, amazing, amazing music, amazing bands. Um, but yeah, that's just that's a, um, just thought I'd mention that. Um, so yeah, it's about sequencing and it kind of seems like a pretty obvious thing to, to be able to do. Um, and yet as much as I enjoy it, it takes me an inordinate amount of time to do for whatever reason. Um, it would almost be sort of more sensible to say I hate this part, but I don't. I, I, I do love it, but it just takes me so long to do. And I just want to talk about some of the processes that I instigate or implement to get me to a point where I feel like I've got a body of work that sits nicely, that sits well. Um, and that I'm, I'm, that I'm comfortable with as I turn pages I mean it doesn't matter what you're doing it might you might be doing a, a 20 image zine to sell online or something it might be a book it might be a little book binding course type book with some beautiful archival papers you know <laughs> so big it it doesn't matter um, it's the same kind of thing it's 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 getting to a point where, where, yeah, that looks just as I want it. Not as other people want it, or you think other people might want to see it, what might be popular. It's, it's coming to a point where you're happy with it. And if you're happy with it, then it's, I think it's a, a true expression of you. And that's really all you can do. Um, and so, I'm going to sort of bring up a few little examples here. Um, I, you know, I sort of start off, before I do the examples, but I start off with getting everything, I'm looking at a computer screen here, and as nice as thumbnails look, I divorce myself from that when it comes to editing. I just go out and buy myself 
a whole load of 7x5s, junky, rubbishy, automated prints of everything I'm working with or everything I think I'm working with. I don't put any actual constraints on it just yet, but I get together the body of, of work. Now, that might change, that might sort of be lessened, it might be increased, um, but essentially they're just rubbishy but cheap. I think that's the important thing, um, images. And, you know, they are rubbish, they sort of, uh, kind of destroy all the, all the work that you've done to um, to get your image to a certain point. Ah, it's just automated, you know, loses a lot of everything that you want and enjoy in a print. But you divorce yourself from that because at the moment they're just, they're just a way of divorcing yourself from the computer and stick them on a wall, stick them on the floor. You know, it's it's really where, just where you feel comfortable. Put them on the bathroom ceiling as you're having a bath, just, I mean, honestly, I, I've been watching the television and these little things have been up on the wall, dotted about, and I'm not even trying to edit, and I, I suddenly glance something and something else makes sense. I see a correlation, I see a, a parallel. And I don't always use it, but I'm mindful of it. And I'll just go and adjust, move that photograph over to there. So I've got a little visual reminder. And that's what's so nice about working with these. You've just got a hard copy and you can move around. You don't have to put them on the floor. You can put them wherever feels good, as I say. Um, and you're basically looking for some kind of a correlation. And that can take the form of, well, let me, let's get some examples up here. Um, you know, two photographs taken a million miles from each other. One is in Ireland. The one on the left is taken in Ireland guy sitting on the couch falling asleep dribbling to another one taken in Milan I mean years and years apart there's no there's no other correlation other than the fact that their heads are leant forward or stooped forward and 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 that's it and I you know I I wouldn't have I wouldn't never in a million of year, years have um, thought, island, Milan, guy, girl, or whatever. It was just the fact that I had these printed up. And it was, I think it was a, a bit of a mistake. I didn't mean to put that one out even. But it just suddenly came along. Now, do I use that? Don't I use it? Um, do I include an old woman that sort of mirrors... The seat, perhaps. And how do I lay that out? Do I put that on one page? Do I put one on each page? In in, in this book, everything, everything is all on one page. On the opposite page, as you... So there's nothing on the facing page. All throughout the book, that's the, that's a very consistent thing. So no matter where I open it, everything, one page. Now that's a very expensive way of going about it. It is, without a doubt, because, yeah, I mean, and you can see how thick that book is. It's something like 240 images. Um, so you have to kind of weigh that up, literally physical space, how you want to see it, how you want other people to see it. Are other people going to say it, or is it just for yourself? You know, all valid questions. Now, I may decide that, you know, you've got to be a little bit careful because I sometimes see a correlation, like the guy dribbling and the girl reading, 
and I think, yeah, that's interesting. But maybe it's a bit tacky. I sometimes think there's something a little bit tacky about it. It's almost like, oh, are you thinking that maybe the image isn't strong enough to stand on its own? That you need some other kind of visual aid to to say, hey, look, isn't this a good edit? Isn't this a cool kind of, do you know what I mean? And I'm always stuck between the two things, but it might work for you in terms of what you're doing. You know, what is your work about? Everyone's work is different. You know, I was looking at something from Matt Stewart the other day and, you know, his work is all about humour. It's all about that sort of absurd um, British humour type thing, you know. Um, there was an image of a lorry pulled up on a London bridge with cones on the back of it and in the background with Houses of Parliament and, and, the, co and the cones are sort of were juxtaposed against the, the Houses of Parliament and some of the steeples that you could see in the background. I mean, it's, it's quite brilliant. Um, but there's a big element of humour there. Do, you know, how, does... And he uses colour. So, is his next... Does he have two images on one on two pages, directly opposite? Because that can be a bit of a distraction, perhaps, but it's a much more economical way of doing it. I'm not saying, the, you know, this is how to edit. I'm throwing stuff out there. These are sort of, these are things that you have to think about, that you have to consider. Um, does he just have one image per page? And then as you turn to the next page, are you looking for, um, if there's a lot of yellow um, or, or, or red, as I know Matt Stewart likes to, you know, that's a visual uh, stimulant for him if he sees anything in red. And, and fine, you know, we all have these quibbles that we use to, you know, to trigger something within us for whatever reason. Um, but when he t when he turns that page, does he now want something more on the blue scale, or does he want another red? Does you know, does he want a complementary color or not? You know, I'm not a color photographer, so those aren't things I have to consider. But you might be, and so. Um, there's no there's no right or wrong that's a very important thing here you can argue there's more of a wrong way than a right way I would argue um, if things jar badly but maybe that's something that you want to do for a reason you, you want it to jar you want it to be um, I'm trying to think of the musical term um, stick, not staccato but um, ah Anyway, I'm not a musician, but something that deliberately doesn't work, something that des deliberately feels awkward or difficult or contentious or something, you know, that might be your flavour. Um, you know, there's another one here. Again, then two completely different countries. Um, I think there's only a couple of years, two or three years separating these two um, yeah one in Holland in Amsterdam and one in um, crikey I can't remember is that Norway or or Denmark one of the two um, I think it's Denmark I know what it is because I've yeah I've just pulled this out it's not titled or I do know but I just can't remember anyway it, it matters not um, what I'm saying here is that you can use a little bit of humor sometimes um, but again is it a bit cliche don't know this isn't one of my edits these are just a few that I've thrown together for demonstration purposes um another one here I, you know i kind of quite like this one because it's not obvious I, i'm not really into obvious things because i think it's a bit patronizing in a way um but something like this you know englishman abroad 
clutching his wallet and sort of pasty white against the the locals and I, I, there's the tree in the background is is um, almost like an umbrella and then another photograph again quite a lot of years difference uh, taken in Munich and the umbrella and it's you know it's almost at the same angle the, the one on the left I'm talking about the black one that mirrors the black tree the black foliage on the tree so you know you and totally different weather you know rain and sunshine it it's a way it, it, it's worn consideration um, that doesn't sort of stand out and but it could work together it, they could you know one on one page one on another it depends as I say on what you're doing um, there's another one here which I kind of like even more there's probably about 20 Tier difference here, <laughs> and just seemingly absolutely nothing to do with each other, and yet they kind of is the sort of scree mimicking, you know, coming down the hill, and then the dress being and 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 the wall, it, the white wall or the light wall that she's leaning against. Is the opposite color of the shoulders of the of the scree, the dark colors of the scree, and the dress in black or dark, and the scree being white or a lighter color, and then the sofa and the ridge, and then you could go another stage further and look at the creases on the dress and the marks on the side of the hill and the scree. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 <laughs> it's yeah. It's <laughs> it's maybe going too far, but I would rather that than something that's cliche or too obvious, in a way. <coughs> um, so yeah, that's just my that's my personal thinking but really I'm gonna say it again there's no right and there's no wrong it's it has to be essentially about you it has to be what floats your boat what makes you you know in the same way a songwriter will write something hopefully real from the heart which is why some when you hear some musicians being interviewed yeah we had a break well You've got to live a little bit to be able to be able to write about real emotions. If you're just on stage all the time, <laughs> that's not that's not real life, is it? It's a uh... so you kind of maybe get an idea of what I'm saying. Here, here's another one. Yeah, they're both taken on a bus. These were actually taken on the same roll of film. You might recognise them from a previous vlog that I did. Um, they might hang together quite well if the images were any good um, but some people might think they are good you know who's to say I I don't think that you know they, this is just an example of some very early work not even work just mistakes <laughs> things like you know I was trying to do trying to work out how to photograph complete strangers um, so yeah there are there are all sorts of ways. Then, you know, from going from the floor or sticking stuff to the wall, um, you know, you can maybe start to put them into, you know, I'm a big fan of moleskin. I'm not selling anything. I'm not being paid or promoted. You know, I'm not promoting anything. I'm not being paid um, by anybody in this vlog or any of my other vlogs. So please know that. Um, but I just mention Moleskin because they do make some beautiful books with some really lovely archival paper and you be, you can begin to pace things maybe a little bit better when once you've got some initial ideas from all you know take them off the wall start to put some white behind them or some off-white and maybe work out the pacing maybe work out the rhythm maybe work out 
you know, it's not just about correlations and parallels. It's about light and shade sometimes. It's about, you know, if there's a, an extremely bright image um, with very little shadow or very little mid-tone, um, you know, I would always argue it's kind of quite nice to have two images that somehow mirror in terms of equal amounts of light and shade. Um, you know, and, and, and that's, I think, that's where it really takes a lot of skill, I think, a lot of experience to, you know, really good editors have that sense. They have a sense of what just, you know, you don't have to have those quirky little gimmicky things. You can just let a body of work evolve throughout the book. Um, it, 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 it completely depends. One is more difficult to do than the other, for sure. But the latter is definitely my preference. Um, I tend not to use gimmicks because I think it detracts. I think it, you know, if it's not strong enough to occupy a full page double spread on its own, then it's probably not a good enough image. And that's, you know, that can be difficult to do. That's kind of about your own inner voice and your own honesty. It could be a good image, but does it work? That's another question. You know, that's another, maybe it's for another book. Maybe it's just not that good. And what's good, you know? That only you can decide these things. Um, you might want it in because it's nostalgic in some way, or but it might not. It might not. It might jar. And for me, you know, that's it. It takes it takes a lot of courage, in a way, and a lot of uh, diligence, in a way, to just to to be able to. Yeah, maybe not this time. You know, don't have any fixed ideas. Just go with the flow a little bit. But if something is, you know, you kind of get a sixth sense sometimes as you're going through the images. Yeah, you know, especially when you've got crappy reprints of of good work that you know has, you know, because. You know, it just makes everything look so awful. You know, you, but yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a real skill. It's it's not easy to do. Um, it's a very worthwhile thing to do. I think it's a really it's a really pleasing thing to do. But it does take an awful lot. But like I say, keep an open mind and don't you know have those pictures up on a wall or whatever, however you want to do it, and you know. Remember, you can sometimes see things when you're not even looking for them. Those little down moments, and you just your eye just glances, and oh, didn't see that. You know that might that might be a nice way of going about things. Um, uh, you know, there's there's one here with, um, you know, I can't tell you why I took this photograph. It was in an instant. And I can't tell you why I like it, uh, but I do. I just, there's something about it I like. I have no idea why. It's one of those images. Um, juxtapose with a scene from a London bridge with Big Ben in the background. You know, one on a, I think it was the Derbyshire Peaks um, where this picture of the dog was taken and another one in London seemingly no correlation whatsoever except that they have <laughs> these really strong diagonal beams or shadows jutting across the image and I do quite like that you know that's an edit that I kind of quite like um, yes it's obvious but the subject matter is so um, 
yeah, you know, it's kind of the, they're the antithesis of each other, and yet they have these, you know, these these strong diagonals, um, and it's not something that you want to make a big fuss about necessarily, but it's just something that may hang together. Um, equally, you know, the steps here. Um, taken at Chatsworth House and then some sort of small jetty in Germany I want to say do I like it I'm not sure I, 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 I'm just not sure um, it, maybe you know maybe um, another one is, is, is this woman sort of reaching up to the light and then a guy putting you know scoring a basket you know what do you think <laughs> it's you know and you can also put it underneath it like this you know you could you could do it another way you know it almost is millimeter perfect to to the arm going up and meeting the other hand that there, there are infinite ways of, of going about doing it and you can only see if you have those you know you can't scroll on a computer and see those things i mean you you can sometimes but if you've got 400 images you know, you're going to have to, to see them all. You're going to have to minimize and crush everything on your screen. And then they're too small, really, to see what's what. Um, and that's that's where these come in. That's why, where, yeah, that's why these are so helpful, um, I think. That, that's, that is, you know, these would be an absolute suggestion. How you go about doing it and what you, where you want them to then live... You know, for me, as I've said, it's always prints and a book. Book takes a long time. Yeah, I don't want to give you the impression, you know, the, these were images I slipped out <laughs> one weekend. This is a life's work, okay? This is not, you know, these span 30, 40 years. So it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, so please, yeah, just to be real about this. Um, you know, you might have a project. You know, that's another thing. If you do projects, um, you know, a week in the life of a fisherman on his trawler boat or her trawler boat, you know, there's a natural progression then. You can follow that line of getting on the boat, uh, getting out to sea and casting the nets sleeping bringing the bringing the the catch in it, it you know and you're telling a story there and the manner in which or the 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 the, the, the um uh, you know you'll be shooting the story almost sequentially as as is and there won't be an awful lot of editing and the editing will be a lot simpler the problem is when you have a lot or maybe not that many um, single images and that's kind of where I am you know that's what I do one-offs um, all to do with the human condition really um, in many ways uh, most most of the time um, not always but most of the time um, and then that's a big subject matter <laughs> How, how are you going to make that hang together properly? And that's probably why it takes me so long. <laughs> you know, there's, there are no shortcuts. Um, and so, you know, I think that's probably it. I think I've said as much as I can really. You know, you might be, I don't know, you might be editing um, for, as I say, like a, you know, for an exhibition or something, again, how do they hang on the wall? What order did you put them in? It, you know whether you're whether you're putting them on, uh, uh, trying to 
uh, put together a book or an exhibition or or just into a folder on your computer you know how do you where how do you have them do you just go by date do you just go by country you know these things are all you know not problems but things that you need to think about things that you know things that are worthwhile just having a, a sixth sense about a, a certain kind of idea and I think that helps you understand your work apart from anything else it helps you un, you know put together I mean I remember for a long time shooting all these different images which is what I do now you know um, body of work but there's, there's some more coming you know there's I've just done some more um but you know over time and all these you know how do you put together stuff that you shot in france 10 years ago to something you shot in in holland last month well you know <laughs> it's I, I mean maybe that's not a great example it, but it's the subject matter that should inform it but it is also nice to have a way of working and 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 sort of formulating it in your own mind's eye um and you know when it comes to if you decide to exhibit or to put it in a book or a zine or a little handmade book you know those things are absolutely gorgeous i mean you could make one with a small moleskin just miniaturize your prints but just get better quality ones than these you know there's all sorts of ways of doing it and um, you know bringing it off the screen into real life and that to me is well, that's what it's all about really um, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna um, finish it there I think that's probably enough said if there are any questions obviously uh, yeah far away um, I'll if you, I'll get back to you and I'll let you know um, pe people do comment and, and what have you um, I kind of see those and that's great that's all good um, you know I tend to sort of res reply to questions or uh, you know if I can help I might not know the answer of course but <laughs> I'll do my best um, so that's it yeah thanks very much for stopping by I hope that's helpful Cheers for now.